Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will talk about transport and work priority in process modeling. I will be using this process modeling layout that you see in front of you for the sake of this tutorial. And in case you want to know how to create such layouts, please go to our academy at academy.visualcomponents.com and then to the course Introduction to Process Modeling. There we have a few basics how to create such layout. So let's start. I would go to process tab and see what processes do we have. So this is the input of our product in the line. I'm gonna pick parts from this process named feeder to the manual process, then to a second manual process, then to a third one and a final stop. This part will be taken around using this guy. It's a mobile robot. It's a generic mobile robot from Visual Components ECAD. And then the product will be a can, which the label name is VC can. So if I press flow, you see that process flow editor is empty. And why? Because we have not created any flows. Let's create the flow. So I'm going to click on feeder label, then to first manual process. What I forgot to do was to choose this label of the mobile robot controller, then to manual process 2. You can see that this transport link has already the icon of mobile robot. Manual process 3 and 4. What I need to do is to choose this one and change it from interpolating to mobile robot. So it's the right type of transportation. Let's press play. My simulation speed is a bit high. Let's decrease it. So mobile robot starts to take this can station to station for some manual work. So while that can is busy in that manual process, mobile robot will go to pick another can from the feeder and place it on the first manual process. So now, in case that I click on this transport link, you'll see a property called priority. Priority can be set from 1 to 100, with 1 being the highest priority and 100 will be the lowest priority. So now this is 10 and the other transport links have the same level of priority. What I'm going to do is actually to set this priority to 1, which is the highest, from the third transportation, it would be second priority, this one third priority, and this one fourth. This is just a trial to see how it works. So, in case I press play, now among the active transports that are requested to the transport controller, they have this type of priority, that this link is having the highest priority. So in case a product is waiting there and the request goes for the transportation from this yellow link, then it means that the mobile robot should do this one first before, for example, an active transport that is requested from this line. Let's increase the speed and have a look. So you can see that the mobile robot first goes over here to take the part to there. And still there is this request active, but it does it f the last. First it kind of conveyed the part from this transport link and then it went to the feeder. And the reason is that the priority is number one here, which is the highest priority. In case we go to the transport controller and then under the work tab, you see also a property called priority. What is that? This one is about the work process. So in case we have a look inside this manual process, 
you can see that we have the part coming in 10 seconds delay and then we just transport it out what I can do is add another delay and then add a work request a work process and then this work process will be done by the mobile robot so 10 seconds delay then mobile robot should do some process and 10 more seconds delay and the part is sent out well I would keep it open so again I would just go over the process and then right click the other way to open this would be just to activate processes and then left mouse button will open the process but I would go to the flow to also see these transport links let's press play and see what happens so now we have this work process that is 10 seconds so you can see that now this is requested so it comes to do it and this work has priority number one and then mobile robot went to do this one that had the priority number one then this one was executed that this one has priority number three how did i know that this work had priority number one it's basically as i showed you under the mobile robot transport controller and the work tab the priority is set one it's for these work processes okay this concludes the video please go ahead and give a try by yourself hope you enjoyed the video and see you later bye for now